guys? It is Macho's Tarantulas. Uh, we got a cool video in store for you today. Um, my wife Lexi is the videographer this time. If, if that's if that's how you say that, <laughs> <laughs> we are very new to this, so apologize. Anyways, we got tarantula cribs. Now, before I open this, I'm gonna tell you guys that. We, this is not like a paid sponsorship or anything or anything like that, okay? So like, I just really love these freaking enclosures. So, tarantula cribs, tarantula cribs, tarantula and cribs, tarantula cribs, tarantula cribs. And then it goes all the way down there, tarantula cribs that way. Anyways, besides that one, of course, and that one, and the ones that were empty, I'm trying to get rid of, anyways. Big fans of these guys. They make wonderful enclosures. Um, my favorite part about them is the fact that when you have these these types of lids and stuff like that, so this one here, it slides out and it just comes right out. I was going to say it doesn't really scare the tarantulas, but when you live in Florida and everything expands and warps and stuff like that, Sometimes they have a hard time coming out, but that's okay. They just have magnets that hold it together. Magnet, 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 magnet. Making it so that they can't come up. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Okay, <laughs> anyways. A lot of them you can just, you know, just go like that. And it comes right off. Feed or whatever. And then kind of put it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um... And then uh, other ones, like our little sling enclosures over here, those ones you just kind of take off and then do whatever you need to do. Anyways, we ordered some more in here, and let's go ahead and open it up. Got my trusty Knife. Oh, I know I love the tape. I don't think they did this in the past. They really taped it, didn't they? Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> no and, stealing uh, here. <laughs> and they always package these guys with great care. This is why we order from them, because of how fantastic they are. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's probably the lid. Oh yeah, you know what, you're right. We got a replacement lid for this one. Because, like I said, we live in Florida, and the humidity here sometimes will warp plastic. Well, this is really, a, this is acrylic, but acrylic warps, plastic will warp. Pretty much anything warps here because of the humidity. Um, those of you living in Florida, you already know. <laughs> oh, cool. And it's, this one actually is perfect. This one has the maximum ventilation. It's the max ventilation lid. Um, you can show the difference, yeah. Let me see what side is the... I think it's this side. Um, this one is our cobalt blue or... <laughs> yeah, I have to read the scientific... Cereo Pagpus <laughs> Levitus. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'm the worst, worst pronouncer of this stuff. So make fun of me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> um, she always runs and hides every time, but you can kind of see the warp a little bit. Um, where only one magnet works. Literally, and I could just go like that with my finger. So here's your difference. And I think more ventilation on this enclosure. Bam, right on. Now test it to see the whole finger thing, because normally you won't be able to lift it with a finger like that. No. Yep, there you go. I have to actually put some force into it. Cool. Perfect for her or him. We actually have no idea. And 
where are you at? You're in your little tunnel system somewhere. Somewhere down there. Uh, cool. And then we can just use this one as an extra at some point when it's, uh, for just in case. Yeah. I don't, she's not big enough to push it open, but we did that just in case we were ordering some, so why not? Okay. And now they also have the ones that do the non warping, but they didn't have any in the size we needed. So, right. Cause we've been doing tarantula cribs probably ever since we saw a tarantula cat. Mm -hmm. And she has an affiliate code. Yeah. Cat 10 for 10% 10 off. <laughs> um, we're not sponsors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're just fans. <laughs> and they have so many new products now too. I feel like they're always coming out with new things to better their quality of product. Oh yeah. This time we ordered some upgrades um, before they get too big. So winter our um brazilian whitening yeah brazilian whitening what's the scientific name on that one um oh we can't the scuria geniculata oh that's right geniculata she is getting a little too big for hers and so is our green bottle blue so we're order we ordered them these ones which are pretty cool the little oh, i love these they're, that's they're the little ones that is absolutely perfect. And I love on all of them too, it has the little emblem for tarantula cribs. I just, I think it's cool. Mm -hmm. And it slides out, goes in perfectly. Oh, that's perfect. Basically it becomes what, two of this one? Cause it's supposed to be the upgrade enclosure for this one. Go, it goes from that to this. So you, yeah, it gives it a little bit more. Yeah. I love that. That's cool as hell. And I like this one too because it has the little things on the bottom so it doesn't just sit on. Because the humidity in our room, um, yeah, because we have to have everybody in our bedroom. And this is our little ledge thing that we have. And then, yeah, anyways, um, we have to have everybody in the bedroom because it's the only place we have for them. Maybe we can get something upgraded later on when we get our own place and stuff but um, um, the bottoms of these here I'll just show you use that one well this one has it so that one's the newer version do they all have it no I don't think so so one of them doesn't have it and it like sticks to our wood on here that's just all humidity because Florida <laughs> so um, keeping dry species here they so far so good um, I guess the orange baboon tarantula that one there is probably one of the drier species that we have that they don't require like a lot of humidity so literally we just fill the water bowl and that's it we don't spray anything or anything because this the air that here in Florida is just enough for that guy. Um, and we have we have her house there. I hope it's a her. And she's webbed that thing up. You can't see nothing. <laughs> I love that species of tarantula. And then also our uh, golden blue leg is also a drier species. Yes. It's also a baboon. Basically any baboon, any African species is kind of like that. Um, any of them that live in that same environment, I should say. There are some desert species that want more humidity, but those ones tend to be the less. Okay, cool, this might be the other two. And they pack them so good. I just, I like the boxes. I like pretty much everything. The and they boxes. became a company because of COVID. Really? Mm -hmm. During COVID, they became a company because they were like, you know, tarantulas need better enclosures. <laughs> More people are at home. Oh, okay. So we get to see both. That one's the sliding lid. And this one is 
the the takeoff lid. So cool. That's all right. These ones I like doing these ones for especially when tarantulas like the OBT for instance, the ones that web a lot or the GBB. You can just slide it like that, and they're webbed that when it sticks to the lid, um, it doesn't get destroyed. So you can just go like that, do whatever you need to do, and then bam. So super easy, love that. This one should be the same thing then. And then, uh, let's see, cool. Yeah, this is just another one of that one. It's pretty cool. All these little styrofoam pieces. Put the plastic over here. Boxes, plastic. Damn. This one must be the sling enclosure. And they have all kinds on their website. All different types. Um, definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, some of their enclosures are a, a, a little expensive, but I mean, that's why we use a firm or zip, which is just a something that lets you pay it off in, in payments instead of, oh, well, I didn't know that was a thing. All right. <laughs> so I thought it opened from like up here, but I guess not. Okay. That's okay. What would you use it for? This is for like an arboreal sling. Basically they'll be up here. So you can just do the water or whatever mm. so yeah that one's kind of cool this one is the big bag so let's get this one out oh my goodness can you say that one for last um well i already got it out <laughs> may as well just do it Just slide off. Is there tape? No, I think this slides. Cool. Making it easy. Let's go. Yeah, firm zip and all that really makes this stuff easy. So if you need to get an enclosure or tarantula or something at the store like groceries or something at GameStop. <laughs> something anywhere you can use those guys and break up your payments so you don't have to spend all that money at once and this is going to be her replacement enclosure um because she doesn't really like this one so we're gonna make her a better one because she's just in the fern she doesn't even care about her tree or anything like that. Well, this is the one that you can replace the weight, right? Yeah. Trinity moved. Is there something in that? Just the little these. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this one's gonna be a lot better. Okay, this one's really cool. So this is a 12 by 12 by 12, so we get plenty of room in this one. Um, 
but this one, it opens from the side and it opens from the top. And All it's kinds like of in, ventilation. It doesn't just open. You won't be able to slide this one though. Right. There's your back, which I don't really care for that, but we can keep it just in case for some reason. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it gives you two different types of lids. I think. Oh yeah, one's the regular ventilation, one's the max ventilation. Okay. I think sh she'll be fine with the regular. Or do you want the max? I'd probably do the max. piece of tape and then uh okay let me see here there's two magnets now right instead of one um oh one came out yeah but it just goes right back in let me do this so Am I supposed to have it where it's... Is it not closing right? I'm trying to figure that out. Try flipping it. I know it probably wouldn't make a difference. But... Okay, yeah, that's why. That's a little weird. Alright. And then... So I think, am I supposed to do one or the other? I think so. Well, that's how it's going to be. I guess I can just do this one. It's the one I wanted to do anyways. There we go. Okay. Cool. And then it just... Awesome. Cool, that's awesome. Right, let's see what else we got. And it's just another one of these, which is just like the one that's right there. That is heart butt tarantula. <laughs> the Trinidad dwarf. Yep. And then these must be the sling ones. Okay. It's a cool little thing. Yes, on. I love these. And this is so, if we ever get another sling. I just got the sling bundle. And so it just came with a bunch of sling enclosures. Mm, cool. And that just goes in just like that. And now, if we ever get any more or whatever, we have enclosures to put them in. And fear not, tarantulas is starting to have bundles now where you can get the tarantula in on the closure for it. And here's the little one, which I'm probably going to rehouse the albiceps into this because he's too big for that. You just assume it's a male. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's perfect. Perfect for him. Or her. <laughs> or her. Whatever it is. <laughs> like you literally cannot tell and you call it a he. <laughs> um, okay. These must be the little mediums. I'm curious 
you're going to see what the mediums are like, what the size are. And the, size uh, are. the tiger rump could probably be rehoused into this. And then we did get rid of that enclosure because I don't like the ventilation in that enclosure. I don't either. These ones are cool as hell. This one's like the medium one. Basically, it's like uh, this one back here. That's a, that's the large. And this one's gonna be the medium. And then they have a small. Which you already saw. Yeah. And I like the little legs, cool. And this one is a slider. This just comes all the way off. Cool. And if you ever need replacement lids like we did, they have those on there too. Is that a crack? No, it's a piece of something. Something. <laughs> cool. And this is the uh, last one. And oh, here it says it medium terrestrial. <laughs> clear bottom. Yes, I always like the clear. I like to be able to see my tarantulas because I need to know if they're doing okay, if something's happened. So I don't get the white bottoms specifically so I can see them. And that's the last one. Yeah, they all work properly and everything. Cool. Put that there. Just as a little bonus thing, we're going to go ahead and do a feeding of our, oh, oh, our Carabina Versicolor because she looks hungry. <laughs> Go ahead and feed like two. Let's see. How many legs? Yes. Nice. Isn't she pretty? What a gorgeous species of tarantula. Right back into her little web. And then we can go over here. Let's go ahead and feed our Brachypelma homori. Mexican red knee. Yes. I'm not worried about her at all. Oh, Florida. I think hers is the only one that does it. It could be a male. I really hope it's not. This is one of our newer tarantulas, so we, didn't, we haven't gotten a molt yet. Nice. Bam. Do you want another one? You got it? Are you good? You're having a hard time. <laughs> it's like you keep puncturing it. Maybe you don't want another? Okay, I think she has it. Alright. Let's try this one. Nice. Got it? <laughs> there we go. It's like sticking out in between. <laughs> Is that 
pretty she is. Nice. All right, guys, and that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching. We both appreciate you very much. Uh, feel free to leave any comments. We, we like everything. And then um, feedback is appreciated and all that type of stuff too. Uh, let us know if these are the type of videos that you wanna see in the future too. Um, and then of course, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. <laughs> Tell us that you do like this type of content. Um, and uh, again, we really appreciate you guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day.